Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Amps again and today I'm going to show you how to measure current with a clamp meter. I usually use for measuring current this multimeter but the problem is that this multimeter is only up to 10 amps which is the maximum and therefore I decided to buy this clamp meter which is up to 600 people usually start measuring current with a clamp meter like this and that's completely incorrect you have to realize there are several wires inside cables and if you want to measure current with a clamp meter correctly you have to measure it on a single line otherwise it won't work like this it won't work normally you can find in cables at home two or three wires and you can see colors for each normally you have to measure current with a clamp meter on blue one or brown one and because it's not good idea to cut cables at home to measure current you can create such a line splitter and now I'm going to show you how to create it correctly so let's go for it in my country we use uh, so-called French sockets and plugs and this is the way how I'm going to connect it the first thing I have to do is to strip a cable I'm going to use three lines cable I really like this wire stripper because it's easy to use and this is another tool which I really like and I use it for crimping connectors if you have stranded wires it's a good idea to use these connectors like that it's very easy to use and it looks very nice I'm going to crimp all wires okay this end is done and it looks perfect now I have to do the same thing for the other end yes and the last one great the cable is done and I have to connect the cable with this plug now I'm going to take a look at internals yeah and the other end of the cable I have to connect to the socket so let's also take a look inside yes it's very important to connect wires correctly on the left side brown one which is live to the middle protective ground and on the right side blue one which is neutral yes and it's almost done so now I'm going to put it all together yes
the screw is very long. <laughs> okay, it's done. Yeah, perfect. The same thing I'm going to do with the other end and I'm going to connect the plug to wires and it's also very important to connect wires to the right places yes okay the neutral wire and it looks perfect okay great again I'm going to put it all together done and now I'm going to check whether I connected wires correctly of course I did but it's good to double check yeah this one is correct this one is also correct and the last one yeah, it's alright now I'm trying to cut the insulation of the cable but I have to pay attention not to cut the wires inside so it looks good the line splitter is done and I'm going to use this way yes Now I'm measuring the current with my new line splitter. Yeah. And you can see how much current my hair dryer draws. The current on the protective ground wire should be always zero. And of course zero if you measure current on all wires at the same time. There are several modes on my hair dryer, so you can see how much current each draws. The maximum is 8 amps, so now I understand why hair dryers are so dangerous. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video and see you next time.